And, uh, I think you want to talk to a couple people before actually getting to, uh, what was it, Min Jiao, I believe? Because I think you can learn some information before talking to her and kind of show her up on some stuff. There's the their receptionist. Um, I'm sorry. Dinner service stopped a little while ago. But our lounge is still open. Ooh, fishies. Fishy, 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 fishy. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, where's that guy that we're looking for? That's not it. Nope, nope, nope. Perhaps you, sir. Or are you, madam? Uh, yes? I just read body massages for dummies. Will you be my dummy? Try back in 50 years. Maybe I'll be blind and senile enough to say yes. Oh, Rejected again. I almost feel as if people don't like me for the way I dress. Oh, there is this. There's the gentleman we wanted. Sorry. Lu Fang no speak English when he drunk. This seems not the time to share stories. Farewell. Let's no more Yankee, my wanky. The Fang I need food. Uh. Okay. Well, that was the guy we wanted, but uh. Oh, we have to do something else first. Nine lives. Let me. Oh yeah, this is a hint to go talk to Ash Rivers in the. The asp hole to uh, figure out uh, his quest. He's been masquerade violating a lot, so he's in a little bit of trouble. But did that was it just me or did that guy look a lot like a Nosferatu? I mean, a more deformed Nosferatu too, which is sad. That people apparently are accepting of his looks for some reason. He had such a horribly misshapen head. I don't know. Um. Next up is, I think, this place. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. Showing you around Chinatown. This is your tour, the Chinatown tour. I'm not even charging you for it. Aren't you lucky? There is something in this door for everybody. Glee? Everyone gets what they deserve. Don't tell me things like that. <laughs> mm. I like the way you think. <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Yes? When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. Do you know what happened to Lin? He laid down and became a mountain? No. Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. Good story. He's more shuttlecock, though. Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? Tonight. Lin's body is being kept in a freezer in the back of a local noodle shop, I hear. There are people there who want him, intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely. 
if they were to wander in. I gouge hell, a fitting punishment for Lin. Twisted, sign me up. I knew you would. What other reason to waste words on the ill-fated? Peel off that facade. How rude of me not to introduce myself. You may call me Mr. Ox. This is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. Have you seen any sewer rats? No. I need nukes. Got any? I sell things many would find cruel. But weapons? No. I continue my search elsewhere. That guy is freaking creepy, man. What the woof? Yeah. He wants some guy's eyes from a freezer in the back of a noodle shop. <laughs> sure, why not? That's a perfectly reasonable request. Oh. And to be honest with you, I've never actually done that quest. So that should be interesting. I can't remember, I think that's the little shop, so we'll, we'll check it out later. First I'm going to pick up all these quests I can get out here. One of them isn't here. With a very dangerous lady, actually. So... Well... I don't think she's technically dangerous to you, I've never had her attack me. But she is... Well, I'll... I'll always let you see. Ooh, 10 difficulty level. Isn't that something? I think the back door is a little bit easier to open. Yeah. <laughs> see, the back door's not even locked. Oh. No, but... Uh, we'll talk to... Oh, whoops. This isn't the building I wanted. Oh, but this is the freezer. <laughs> I stumbled across my answer. Holy crap. Why did the body make the sound of a drawer opening on a desk? Anyway, let's take this guy's eyeballs. Get out. I'm not going to explore the rest of the shop. I'm not that interested. <laughs> but we have the ox's eyeballs, I guess. I don't know. That's... Honestly, the first time I've ever been asked for going to steal the eyes from a frozen cadaver. It's more than a little odd. And where is the the girl that I was wanting to talk to? The uh, the Asian girl. Maybe she was in there too. Well, oh, shoot. Kamikaze Zen, I believe, is one of the. Uh, Mythic quest, she gives you a card key for it. Hey you! You are your fortune red? You give me five dollar, I give you secret Chinese enlightenment. Only stupid person not want to know future. You know of the Dark Father too? Ah sure, yeah, I tell you all. Oh, five dollar. Here, forecast my fate. Here your lucky numbers. Write down a number piece. Equal. Eleven. Seventeen. Twenty-five. Ninety-three. Eleven. And sixty-two. I feel more than a little ripped off. Your fortune? Here, forecast my fate. You're going to go to a fancy restaurant. You're going to order snails. Don't eat them! That disgusting! Snail very dirty. He's right. Oh my god. I'm so glad he told me that. Woo! Wee! I'm saved from the snails. 